Time tracking. Mastering the hour hand on an analog clock. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to delve into an exciting aspect of telling time in English. Reading the hour hand on an analog clock. Specifically, we're focusing on understanding the position of the hour hand when it's between numbers. So, let's jump right into it. Firstly, let's revisit what the hour hand is. On an analog clock, there are usually three hands. The second hand, the minute hand, and the hour hand. The hour hand is the shortest of the three and moves the slowest. It points to the current hour on the clock. But what happens when the hour hand is between two numbers? Well, that's where things get a bit interesting. When the hour hand is between two numbers, it means that we've moved past the hour it's coming from and are transitioning to the next. Let's take an example. Imagine the hour hand is exactly between the three and the four. This means we're halfway through the third hour and moving towards the fourth. However, when we tell time in English, we still consider it the third hour until the hour hand reaches the number four. Therefore, if you see the hour hand between three and four, we are still within the three o'clock hour. The exact minute past three o'clock depends on the position of the minute hand. Now, it's time for some practice. Take a look at various analog clocks and try to determine the time specifically paying attention to the position of the hour hand. Remember, even when it's between numbers, the hour is determined by the last number it passed. And that brings us to the end of this lesson on reading the hour hand on an analog clock. We hope you now feel confident in understanding the hour, especially when the hand is between numbers. Keep practicing, and before you know it, you'll be a whiz at telling time in English. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next lesson.